A lot of cloud cover and maybe a high flash flood threat as well. And Stephanie mentioned this during her live shot, but things that just bear repeating turn around don't drown because flooding causes more deaths than any other thunderstorm hazard. Over half of flash flood fatalities vehicle related six inches of moving water can knock you off the ground. One to two feet of water can float most vehicles. So when in doubt, wait it out. Don't chance it. And you'll recall yesterday, if you're watching some of our coverage from the northwest side, chunks of the road were washing away with this flash flooding in and around Marana and the western half of Oro Valley. That's why you just don't want to chance it and drive into these washes. You don't even know if there's the road there to begin with. Again, flash flood watch out for all of southeastern Arizona through 2 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. This means conditions are favorable for any storm to pop up and produce one to two inches of rain in a very short amount of time. Does this mean everybody's going to get one to two inches of rain today? No, but at least the atmosphere is conducive that we could see some of these storms producing flash flooding. Here's Doppler radar, and for the most part, we are seeing scattered action, mainly hugging the higher terrain, trying to drift up to the north northwest at roughly 10 miles per hour. Slow movement with storms today. Strongest storms impacting Metro Tucson at the fringes of the western Tucson metro area west of Picture Rocks and Avra Valley, but looks like rainfall rates in this area could be approaching one inch an hour. And as you know, if you live on the west side, Sandario Road, that can be tricky during monsoon. Mount Lemmon seen about an inch of rain in the last hour or so. And again, that threat does continue for a good chunk of the viewing area through the evening hours. What's causing all of this? Notice the spin over Cochise County. This is a mid-level disturbance enhancing thunderstorm development, taking advantage of any little sliver of sunshine to pop up storms. And right now, still some breaks in the clouds southeast side of Metro Tucson, anywhere from, oh, I'd say, Sal Rita up to Vail. This will be the spot that we watch out for next, including the eastern half of the metro for scattered thunderstorm development. And as this mid-level disturbance cruises to the north, we will see scattered storms pop up. Here's the latest rapid refresh model. Prime time for storms through about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Things quiet down after that. I do think the overnight hours will be high and dry here in Tucson. Main flooding threat, though, is going to take place between now and the early evening hours. 82 at the airport. Look at the dew point into the mid 60s at this time. Your rain chances at 60% today. So not everyone's going to get rain, but where it rains, it could certainly pour. And if it pours on the northwest side, we could be talking about another day with major flash flood issues. Maybe the next active monsoon day will be on Sunday, but in the interim, the focus is on the next several hours. And again, that flash flood watch out through two o'clock in the morning. Again, another great reminder. Turn around. Don't drown that car during Stephanie's live shot that just went through that rushing water across the street. So dangerous. Yeah, not worth your life.